<laughs> the Breakfast Club, bitches. Now, I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but Donkey of the Day is a new one. Donkey of the Day for Thursday, June 6th goes to a Baltimore rapper named Chad Focus. Chad, I need to talk to you. And I need to talk to everyone taking penitentiary chances for their career, okay? Nothing wrong with investing in yourself. In fact, you should invest in yourself, but it's the right way to invest in yourself and a wrong way to invest in yourself. We'll get back to that in a moment, okay? Guess what Chad wants to be, ladies and gentlemen? I told y'all already, right? A rapper, Mm. okay? Uh, Listen, I tell every aspiring artist I meet that on the road to chasing your dreams, investing in your dreams, you also have to deal and invest in your reality, okay? Your reality is bills need to be paid. You need to eat, rent is due, car payments, whatever, okay? You got monthly fees just like the rest of us. And one thing I can't stand to see is someone putting all their eggs in one basket, all right? You can't limit yourself to one hustle. So once again, in the pursuit of your dreams, you have to deal with your reality. But for some reason, people think they can't do both. It's so strange to me, especially, you know, these kids that are in college. Like, it's 24 hours in a day, 168 168 hours in a week. If you're working 40 hours a week, right, whatever job it is, doesn't matter. Whatever it is, you can take care of your monthly bills, all right? If you go to school, you might be in class 20 hours a week. You can even add on another 20 of study time just to be safe. That's 80 hours a week accounted for, all right? Job, school. So you still got 88 hours to play with. You can do whatever you want with that 88 hours because your reality is being taken care of. So if you want to pursue a music career, be a producer, if 88 hours a week isn't enough time to fit that in, then you're not hustling right to me. Now, Chad Focus is his name. He had a day job, right? He was dealing with his reality. He worked as a search engine optimization specialist for several years at an unnamed company. I don't even know what a search engine optimization specialist is, but it's a job he had for several years, and the company gave him an American Express card. So this might, this ain't no job. This is a career, right? If you get an Amex card, right? Yep. To make company purchases on? Mm-hmm. All right, now, if you got a job for several years, I would assume you're making enough money to invest Maybe not the way you want to, of course, but you got something to make some kind of investment into your uh, career, rap career. Nonetheless, Chad Focus had a bright idea, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a bright idea that has landed him in jail. I think we know where this is going. I mean, come on. To be a successful rapper, you have to have some kind of jail record, right? Let's go to WJZ CBS 13 for the report, please. Baltimore rapper known as Chad Focus looked to be living a lavish lifestyle, showing off cars and money in a major social media following. But prosecutors say it was all allegedly paid for with stolen money. Chad Arrington, known as Chad Focus, surrounded himself with stacks of money, nice cars, and a lavish lifestyle. One that federal prosecutors say was allegedly paid for with stolen money. An indictment released Tuesday says Arrington worked as a search engine analyst at an unnamed company where he was issued a company credit card for business expenses. But prosecutors say that between January 2015 and August 2018, he used it to make $4.1 million in unauthorized purchases. He was using that company credit card to make purchases for himself, to enrich himself and also to further his own personal business and his brand. Purchases such as concert tickets, billboards, audio equipment, and travel expenses. We went to Arrington's house to ask why he did what he did, but family and friends say no comment. The indictment also says he brought followers on social media and paid outside platforms to artificially increase plays on streaming services. He took a number of steps to basically cover up his tracks and make it much, much harder for his employer to figure out what he was doing and stealing over the course of time. Those steps include allegedly forging signatures from supervisors signing off the purchases and having co-conspirators use computer software to falsify billing statements. The Baltimore rapper's career now coming to a screeching end as he faces up to 20 years behind bars for conspiracy, wire fraud, and aggravated identity theft. Lord have mercy. Chad, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Chad want to be a city girl so bad. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my God. He swear this summer was going to be scammer season. Uh, Chad Focus, you should change your focus. All right, you just ruined your rap career. You just ruined your life, all right, for a rap career that was never going to happen for you. All right, let me tell you something. If you invest four point something million dollars into your rap career and I've never heard of you until now, you must be trash, all right? (laughs) <laughs> Chad, Chad Focus had a billboard in Times Square. The billboard said, Chad Focus, number one artist in the world. Has anybody here ever seen that billboard? I've never seen it. No. I've never seen it either. 
If a tree falls in the forest and no one is there to see it, did it really fall? Hell yes, it did. If a billboard goes up in Times Square and nobody notices, did you waste your money on it? The answer is hell yes, you did. All right? Now, instead of a record deal, Chad Focus has a federal indictment, and he is charged with wire fraud, mm. conspiracy to commit wire fraud, and aggravated identity theft. As I said, it's a right way to invest and a wrong way to invest. This was indeed the wrong way. Please give Chad Focus the sweet sounds of the Hamiltons. You are the donkey of the day. You are the donkey of the day. Yeah, that wasn't too good. And I want the record to show it wasn't until about 15, 20 seconds ago that I said, yo, we should actually download this music and hear what it sounds like. But I'm not doing it. I'm fighting the urge. Nope. Your investment was terrible. All right. <laughs> your investment was your investment sucked, Chad. I'm not giving you that. I'm not downloading your music. Nor will I play it. He spent a lot of bread. Four point something million dollars. How does his music sound? I have no idea. We no, don't know. Nor will I find out. <laughs> don't care. Charlemagne the God here, and today's Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamonsoff. Don't be a donkey and call my friend Michael if you've been hurt in a construction accident. 212-962-1020. That's 212-962-1020. Don't be a donkey. 